This is gonna be a different look for my videos. I'm, I'm filming this on a Logitech stream cam pointed down on my desk. And the microphone I am going to compare and review is the Rode NT USB Mini, which is this one. And it's you're hearing the audio from the USB Mini right now. It's plugged into my computer here. The stream cam plugged into my computer. And this is what it sounds like. This is what it is included in this microphone. I am a good, I'm one foot away from the microphone. I believe this microphone is best when you're right on it. So what I'll do now is I'll pick it up with my hands so you, you'll hear some handling noise and I'm gonna put it right up to, or very close to my mouth and I will speak there. This is a magnetic base. I was surprised how weighted down, how weighted this microphone is. The base itself, here, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna put it right close to my mouth now. now. Now you're listening to it pretty close, so the audio should be good. There's a, apparently a pop filter built in, so the, P, the B's and the P's, pop, pop, you, that should be reduced with this filter. I'm not sure yet, I'm not monitoring this live. And, but this, uh, anyways, this base is plastic, except for this metal I, uh, section here, the connector. And I thought this was gonna be heavy, but it's not as heavy as the microphone itself. The microphone is quite heavy. And the base, you get you get a couple accessories here. There are, there are other accessories, but these are the ones that you would use the most would be this, this is a rubber case and the rubber case goes on Let's see if I can talk and and work this mic. See right here, that's the microphone thread. And then this would go here, this rubber gasket thing, and then it, it per, you can you could use it without it, but uh, you're you're able not to scratch anything. And then here's the a quarter a three eighths adapter. So it's a microphone to three eighths. That's what it comes with, and I just keep it around. And here is the, I thought this was gonna be, I wish this was for the, they, there's an, I wish there was a button to switch between microphone gain and headphone gain, but you have a, oh, here, now I'm testing the off-axis rejection here. Now I'm pointing the microphone capsules completely away from me. So you have a headphone jack and USB-C, and that's all you get back here. Now I'm gonna turn it around and let's see, maybe the audio is better, not sure. And this knob here controls the gain for the headphones, but I wish there was a switch where you could toggle between headphone and the gain in the computer. Right now, my Mac computer is on uh, auto, so it's, it's automatically leveling it. And this is what it sounds. All right, I'm gonna put it down now. Wonder if you heard all that. In, in the microphone. Now I'm gonna do a, a comparison. I'm gonna switch switch mics and I'm gonna switch it to my, my this is a Rode Procaster. Uh, the, the mic, the USB mini here is a, is a hundred dollars and the Procaster, which has been out for a while, which is a XLR, is a 230 uh, around there. But you can't just have the Procaster by itself. If you're gonna use it uh, in your computer, you're also gonna have to have some kind of digital audio interface that goes from XLR uh, to, U to USB. And I have a Shure MVI. So this Procaster is plugged into the Shure MVI. And now I'm going to switch. Let me see if I can switch on the same recording you know, on Logic, the Logic Capture app. So let me switch here. Uh, ah, there. Okay. All right, now I switched microphones. I am now on the uh, Procaster now. And the Procaster is a dynamic microphone. And uh, dynamic microphones reject more sound than condenser microphones, which is what the uh, uh, USB is, the USB mini. Uh, and the Procasters 
are also meant to be really close to your mouth. So right now it's about six inches from my mouth. And here's what it's gonna sound like when I put it all the way up to my mouth right here. This is the this is what you should hear on, on podcasts. You get the really lows, although I might be blowing out the recording because I didn't it's not adjusting the volume. We'll see how that sounds, but I'll put it back down here. I have a pop filter. This is what comes with or, or the accessories for road. You have to buy this separately. I believe this was pretty expensive. It's like maybe $25, maybe more, just for this foam. I'm sure there's knockoffs or third party you could buy. But anyways, this is the test between these microphones. Uh, how, how does it sound? I'm not sure which one. I, I, I like the Procaster, but when I'm traveling, I wanted to see if the Rode NT USB Mini was a good alternative. I'll switch to the USB Mini again just to see the difference. And okay, so now I switch back to the USB mini. This is what it sounds like. What I might have to do is bring, if I am traveling, I'm gonna bring a little table stand boom arm that could support the weight of the USB mini. And it's about, I think this weighs 1.28 pounds. Yeah, it weighs 1.28 pounds and the Procaster weighs 1.53 pounds, 1.53, 1.28. You would think that the Procaster would be way heavier, but it's not. The NT USB Mini is quite heavy. So this is what it sounds like. I'm not sure uh, what you guys think, but I wanted to do this quick video because I just bought this mic to compare to the Procaster.